Lori Farm. Um, we finally hit the 100 subscriber mark, so thank you for watching. Oh, the ducks are running behind. Sorry, I distract easily. But thank you for uh, subscribing and continue to watch. Um, so today, I'm just going to show you where we're at. And as you can see, everything's growing really well. I have some potatoes starting to... You can see the little baby potatoes when I was hilling them today. I noticed they're getting bigger, so probably a couple weeks and then we'll be able to harvest those. What a huge tomato. So the tomatoes are growing. The plants are getting really tall and nice. The um, beef steak or big boys are getting really big. I had to come out here and prune them a little bit. Looks like I can still do a little bit more since they're getting so big they're starting to flop over, which is a good problem to have. The carrots are obviously getting pretty tall. I still need to thin them out a little bit, but we did a little bit of that today, me and the kids. Snap peas, doing great. So the tomatoes have, to, have been flowering like crazy. As you can see, they're pretty much on every, every square inch here. And we're getting a ton of tomatoes on this one. We have some here and here. They're just all over which is kind of exciting because we'll be eating tomatoes like crazy. Um, so these beets are doing great. We've actually started eating them, I think about, I don't know, two, three days ago. We've been having them every day. We're gonna have a few for dinner tonight. Um, like I said, you can just bust these off and throw them in a lettuce salad. Um, otherwise we have, like here's a decent sized one that I like to eat them when they're about this big. They're kind of tasty. So I'll throw this in my bucket when I remember where I put that. Let's see if there's any other ones in here. Oh, this is a good one too. Again, some people like to wait till they get giant, like the size of an onion, but these ones are taste sweeter and I just like them when they're smaller. They're a little more sugary tasting. another decent one. So they'll be good with dinner tonight. I think I'm gonna do burgers and beets. So over here is more of my overgrown tomatoes. Again, a ton of flowers. So we're gonna have a lot of tomatoes here soon. I mean, we already have a ton, but once we can actually uh, eat here, probably in about a month or so. Usually August, mid-August, end of August for tomatoes in Minnesota. So we don't have the longest season, but we can definitely get a ton of vegetables in that time. So here's the beans. They're starting to flower, which is a really good sign, which means we'll have beans soon. I actually had one bean growing, but when I came in here earlier with my um, animals, my dog ate it. So that was a little frustrating, but at least someone got to eat a fresh bean today, right? So anyways, bunch of flowers. When these get going, they get going. I mean, it just gets overwhelmingly crazy as soon as the beans start We like beans, so we eat a ton of them anyways, and so do my dogs, apparently. So at least we uh, are pretty good about sharing. So here is our cornfield. Um, it's pretty good. You know, you can tell, it's hip height. So we had a bunch of wind the last couple of days. Um, so it kind of slanted a lot of our corn, unfortunately. So we're trying to figure out a way to get it upright so it doesn't grow on the ground and all of the chickens and ducks eat it. Back in my zucchini area, the zucchini are getting huge. As you can see right back there, they're just everywhere. And we actually have giant flowers and even some zucchini growing. I have a decent sized one right here. I think I'm gonna leave this one and let it get a little bit bigger. Probably pick it in the next couple days or two and throw it in a pasta salad. Here's another zucchini on this one, pretty teeny but coming through. Um, so this is my cucumbers and my well, I have different varieties of cucumbers back here. I have munchers, I have pickling, and then I have regular. I also have some lemon cucumbers, which are pretty cool. I'm hoping they work out so I can show you some of those. And then also a variety of pumpkins. 
As you can tell, we put grass clippings down because they're free and it really helps block the weeds. So then we don't have to do too much weeding. So me and the kids kind of went through today and regrassed everything. And it's looking really great. Everything's flowering and getting huge. So I think this is gonna be a pretty good success this season. We're in greenhouse number one. And as you can tell, um, this is my beets and my green beans. And everything's coming along really well. I did go through and weed a little bit, but obviously I need to allow weeding um, but things are looking really good. We got some flowers and some buds going. The beets really took off this week. And they're looking great. I would imagine in the next couple weeks we'll have some beans coming in and we'll be having a lot of beans with our beets for dinner. It's actually catching up really quickly to the back garden as you can tell. I think it's because of the extra heat that the greenhouse allows which is super nice. and. Usually by now the green beans and beets would have outdone back there, but since we had a late start on the greenhouses because of some last minute changes here, it's going to take a while, but at least it's catching. We're in greenhouse number two where we have our hanging tomato plants that Shane's been working really hard on, and then our yellow squash, which is looking absolutely amazing. It's really probably tripled in size since probably our last video, I'm thinking. We don't have flowers quite yet but the flowers should be popping through soon. So the tomato plants are all from seed that we grew ourselves. We did get a little bit of a late start on them, but they're looking really great. We have our peppers on this side, which have just exploded this week. They're absolutely amazing. We got these long lunchbox ones that are probably going to be ready to be harvested and eaten here shortly, which is great because my kids absolutely love peppers, so this will make a huge dent in my grocery bill. And then we also have some other regular ones that are just getting ginormous over here. They kind of look crazy on this little plant. And even over here I got some little ones popping through. I mean, literally every plant pretty much is already producing peppers, so that's super exciting. Um, I feel like it usually takes a little bit longer, but I think this greenhouse has really helped. This is kind of a little bit of an experiment. I've tried uh, Lupa in the past and it had never worked out, so I thought I'd add them to my herb garden here. And I wasn't going to videotape them because I've never successfully grown Lupa. But they're actually doing pretty well. They're vining out and leafing out really well, which is a little bit of a surprise. So I'm kind of excited about these, so hopefully they keep going on that way. The vines are actually going right into this and going up the top. So I think this is, at the very least, going to be really pretty to look at, even if it never does fruit. Welcome to Chaos Garden. If you missed our previous videos, Shane had made one of testing implements, farm implements. So we didn't really know what to do with the land. So what we ended up doing is just throwing all of our extra seeds. Some may have even been a year or two old just to see what was gonna happen. We have zero intention of maintaining this garden at all. And as you can see, it's still in the honeymoon stage where the weeds have not caught up to any of the produce. So it looks pretty amazing. I wish that it was this easy and it just stayed this way. But it isn't. And it is growing fabulously so far. I think it needs a little bit of water, but hopefully the rain will start here and we'll get it watered a little bit. Otherwise, we got corn, we got beans, we got sunflowers. I even threw some asparagus down. We have snap peas. We have pumpkins. It really is just a hodgepodge of every, every little seed we had left, and it's, I think it's going to be kind of cool. Thank you for watching our weekly garden tour. Sorry it was a few days late, but it, like I had mentioned over in the corn, it has been crazy windy the last couple of days, which makes it impossible to shoot, because all you hear is crazy wind. But thank you again. I'm so excited that we hit that 100 subscribers. So if you know anyone who's interested in gardening and likes these types of videos, please share. And thank you so much for continuing to watch. And thanks for supporting us.